It is the beginning of November 2022, so it's time for another monthly update video in which I'll talk about what we've got coming up this month of November and everything that we did in October that you might have missed. I always like to begin by highlighting three big things. So big thing number one for this month is I've got a new light hall class coming up on Wednesdays uh, starting uh, mid-November with light hall. So you can check out the link for that below. I also shot a video about it and there's a link to that as well. Second big thing, tomorrow I will be giving a talk at the University of Würzburg. Of course, this is going to be virtual. I'm not flying over there to, to Germany, but I'm giving a talk on Epictetus that is open to the public, so you might want to check that out. And then uh, the third big thing is I have started doing YouTube channel memberships. So, you know, if you've gotten a lot of benefit out of the kind of work that I'm doing and you want to give a little something back, you can do that. There's also some perks for people who are becoming members, including uh, some member only exclusive things. You can see the link to that below as well. So with no further ado, let's talk about October. The biggest thing for the month of October was the International Online Stoicon Conference, which we just finished up with last weekend. We've been releasing videos from it as well, uh, so people who weren't there could you know, virtually attend after the fact and get to see the, the sorts of talks and workshops and panels that we had. So that was really cool, a lot of work. Fortunately, uh, I didn't have to do it on my own. My wife, Andy Shaka, my good friend and colleague, Harold Kavli, and our tech person, Phil Yanoff, all contributed to the event. And then we had a lot of great speakers and uh, moderators and panelists. So, so that's, that's a, a big high point. Um, I also did an interview uh, with my co-host Dan Hayes in the Wisdom for Life show of the YouTuber Carneades, who has a new book out, uh, which is uh, quite cool, and, and getting to talk with, with them about not just the book, but skepticism and uh, cost-benefit analysis and all sorts of other cool topics on the Wisdom for Life show. Uh, I did my usual Hegel things, you know, the public uh, chat and the uh, uh, Patreon exclusive chat. I also held an AMA. I had to put off the Philip K. Dick uh, Worlds of Speculative Fiction to this month, that's that's coming up, uh, and I'll talk about that in the November uh, session. But I did also do an invited talk for the Midwest Seminar in Ancient and Medieval Philosophy called Virtue Without the Mean, the Stoics on Virtues and vices. And so that was that was quite cool. You can see the video for that below. And, you know, what else was going on this month? Well, you know, usual class related stuff. I've got four classes running right now, three at Marquette University and one at Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. Uh, I also got my classes for next semester from Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. I'm going to be teaching an intro to humanities as a face to face class on campus. And I'm teaching a online asynchronous class on philosophies as ways of life where we actually do some experimental work called philosophy, mindfulness, and life. So that's that's pretty cool. I got some writing done as well in Medium and uh, shot a lot of videos, produced a lot of videos, released a lot of videos, uh, core concept videos for my uh, classes on anger, on Joseph Butler's sermons, on Thomas Aquinas, and on Seneca's on anger that I've been releasing. Of course, there's the uh, event videos, uh, Virtue Without the Mean, the Wisdom for Life. Um, I released a half-hour Hegel video that I'd shot the previous month. Uh, Evil Sadler also came out for a moment and, and had some crazy stuff to say. I did a Sadler's Stories video, one of the Q&A from my Light Hall sessions on Aaron. Aristotle, uh, what else? Um, I, I did have some found footage, which was kind of cool. Um, 
you know, my, my massive hard drive failed. And so I had to go back to the older hard drives. And I, I found some stuff that allowed me to um, uh, create some new videos from some older things. So I patched together the video uh, recordings from when I interviewed some of the key players in the Institute for St. Anselm Studies and released that as the story of the, the Institute for St. Anselm Studies. I also found uh, video footage of a talk that I had done in 2016 here in Milwaukee on understanding anger from Stoic perspective. So I, I released that as well. Uh, podcast work. Um, I did a number of podcast episodes to get them all out on Epictetus's discourse. I think it wound up being a playlist of uh, 45 altogether, some of which I'd done previously and, and many of which I did this last month. And then uh, some stuff on Arthur Schopenhauer's on the basis of morality, most of which have been released at this point. So that is what went on in the long month of October. What is coming up in November? Well, we're starting off really strong early on with two events tomorrow. That is November 2nd. One of them is virtual. That's one, the one that I mentioned in the three big things. I'm giving a talk virtually in this series on um, you know, philosophy and reasons and moral, uh, moral activity and stuff like that for the University of Würzburg, which if you don't know is in Bavaria, not all that far from where I was stationed back in my military days over 30 years ago when I was uh, quite young. And uh, I'm talking about Epictetus on proiracis and giving reasons and, and rationality. So that should be uh, quite good. We've got plenty of time planned for it. I'm going to do some talking and some explaining. Then we'll do some Q&A and discussion. And they said that you're welcome to join if you would like to. So the link is, is below. It's a Zoom link. Then if you're here in the Milwaukee area, I will be at 6 p.m. at the Frank Weyenberg Library closing out the year of the Philosophers in the Midst of History discussions with a talk on Maurice Blondel. If you know uh, my background, you know that he's the person I actually did my dissertation on, and I've, I've done you know, quite a bit of writing over the years and some translations of him. So uh, I'll be talking about where he figures into the complicated history of the 19th and 20th centuries. Um, so that, that should be quite interesting. Then uh, on um, the 5th, Saturday at 12 p.m., I'll have my Ask Me Anything session. You, you know, you can pop in and get some questions answered, provided you get them in early enough, because uh, we always wind up with more questions than I can answer. Later on that day at 2 p.m., we'll be having our Patreon-exclusive philosophy chat. We always have some great conversations in that. Um, on the 9th at 5 p.m., we'll have our public Hegel Q&A and discussion session. So if you've got questions about Hegel, German idealism, you should pop in for that. Put it on your calendar. On the 12th at 10 a.m., I'm going to be uh, showing up for um, a Stoicon X Midwest where I will be doing a fairly short talk about uh, Stoicism and religion and you know the multiple different ways people understand religion and the ways people analogize stoicism to a religion along those those lines so you can check that out uh on the 19th um we'll be having our worlds of speculative fiction that was originally scheduled for this month on philip k dick we're going to be talking about androids and humans. So obviously, the androids dream of electric sheep and uh, you know some of his essays. But we're also going to be looking at uh, We Can Build You and uh, a few other stories as well. The simulacrum, that, that should be a lot of fun. Uh, so we, we start off with a um, premiere of a video with live chat. And then we finish up with some more uh, interactive discussion on Zoom. Um, 
On the 24th, 6 p.m., we'll be having our Milwaukee Stoic Fellowship. I'm not quite sure what we'll be discussing. Maybe some, you know, wrapping up from Stoicon and the various Stoicon Xs, or there might be something else that we, we go into. And then on the 26th at 12 p.m., uh, I'm going to start resuming those political theory and practice uh, discussions. That's a live chat with me, sort of like an AMA, but it'll be much more focused on a particular topic. So that's all the stuff that we've got coming up as far as events go. Uh, videos. I'm planning on continuing on with Seneca's On Anger. I've already released six videos in that series. There's a number more for me to shoot on this classic Stoic text. I'm also going to be doing some on uh, St. Augustine, uh, you know, some stuff probably from City of God discussing uh, emotions and the Stoics and where Augustine thinks they got the, some things wrong. Uh, I also want to do some on John Chrysostom's uh, sermons on Matthew and on Ephesians that have to do with anger. Resources for my students, but also, you know, hopefully for all of you. Um, I'm going to be getting back to doing Hegel now that Stoicon is behind me. I can start getting back to shooting half-hour Hegel videos that I've, I've neglected for a while. I also have a lot of books piled up that need to be reviewed, so this is the month to get cracking on those. If I have time, I'll, I'll shoot some personal videos and maybe a caption contest or another Sadler's story. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how much I can actually feasibly get done in that time. I also do have this class uh, that if you're, if you're interested in you and you want to read Platonic Dialogues, I am going to be going o over five Platonic Dialogues uh, on Wednesdays. Um, you know, sort of, sort of a fun thing to do. 90 minute sessions. We'll start with um, the Ion, shortest dialogue, and, and one that uh, kind of gives you an idea what this Socrates guy is about and why the poets were ticked off with him. Then we're going to run through the stuff that you find in like, you know, the last days and death of Socrates. So, you know, the Euthyphro, the Apology, the uh, Credo, and then we're going to spend two weeks on the Phaedo. But you know, not all of those weeks are going to be in November, obviously. We're going to begin uh, about midway through. And again, you can see the link to that below if you want to check it out. Um, what else? Trying to get some writing done as well. And, um, you know, there's, there's odds and ends that need to be tidied up, uh, particularly after Stoicon. We're still releasing videos. There's still uh, Stoicism Today posts to, to bring out. Um, the podcast, I am continuing on with the Schopenhauer on the basis of morality uh, podcast episodes. Uh, I've also got some on Audrey Lord's The Uses of Anger, which I shot some videos on earlier this year, and I'm going to be bringing those out. And then we're going to turn to Bishop Joseph Butler and his two sermons that have to do with anger. And uh, after that, uh, we'll see where we go from there. I've got a lot of uh, things that can be turned into good Sadler's Lectures podcast episodes, so it's just a matter of of putting them together and uh, doing the editing work. So that's it for November. I hope you can join me for some of these uh, online events. And, uh, you know, if you're in the area, I hope you can show up for the Blondell lecture. Uh, that would be really fun. And if you do, you know, of course, come up to me and introduce yourself afterwards. Otherwise, I'll see all of you somewhere in the ether over the course of this month. Have a great month, and uh, I'll see you then.